What's going on guys? Luke here with Wilson Auto Detailing. Listen, I've been getting all sorts of questions about the Avalon King Armor Shield Ceramic Coating. How long does it last? Is it really worth it? Is it good for beginners? And in this video, I want to actually update you guys on this coating, how it's lasting, how it's standing up to other coatings, and what kind of longevity might actually be available in this small bottle. Now, one of the reasons why I love the Armor Shield Coating so much is because of its ease of use, which I've talked about a thousand different times in the videos reviewing this particular ceramic coating. But one of the essential questions with a ceramic coating is not just is it easy to apply, but actually can it last the test of time? But before we get into exactly how well the ceramic coating is standing up to the test of time, we have to do something extremely important. I'm actually going to be ceramic coating my computer. No, I'm just kidding, but that's actually not that bad of an idea. Listen guys, in the same way that we use ceramic coatings to coat the exterior of the vehicles we're working on, I want you guys to go below this video and coat the like button by clicking it and turning it blue. And I'm actually going to do this with you right now, hitting the like button, turning it blue. There we go, done. Now let's get into the video. All right, everyone, we are looking at the before shots of this big Ford truck. Now, again, this was ceramic coating a little over two months ago with the Avalon King ceramic coating, but since then, it has not been maintenanced at all, so it is time to wash it pretty deeply here and look at the water beating behavior of the Avalon King ceramic coating in order to basically give us an idea of how much the coating has broken down or has not broken down and kind of the longevity of it. But before we do that, we are going to be taking care of the wheels, wheel wells, and tires, as well as, of course, the paint, glass, chrome, and everything on the exterior surface of the car. Now, by the way, after the wash here, we are not going to be applying a protection because the owner of this vehicle has actually given me permission to use it as a test subject for the Avalon King ceramic coating to determine really how long this coating will last. So what we're doing here is basically pulling off all of the exterior dirt, the exterior grease, grime, all of that in order to make sure the coating is not being broken down unnecessarily by the elements outside. So we're just going to strip the whole car and leave the coating protection on there without any protection being put on on top of that. Now, I do want to focus on, on a few things here. You can see on the wheel here, I'm doing a little bit of a water beating test. You can see the water beating up on the inner spoke of the wheel there. And this is really interesting because what it tells me is that the coating is still very much alive on the wheels on these inner spokes here. One of the areas where the coating was a little bit broken down was on the very, very face of the wheel because this truck is actually a truck that's taken kind of cross country. It's also taken through mud. It's used as kind of like a farm truck. So this goes through ice storms, snowstorms. It goes mudding. In fact, it has done that since the ceramic coating was applied two months ago. It had to weather an ice storm. So this truck gets beat up like crazy. And that's why it's going to be a really good subject here because essentially what we're doing is saying, hey, we're going to put the Avalon King through hell and see if it can come out unscathed over time. Now, as I'm cleaning up all of the wheels, wheel wells, and tires, I'm going to move next to simply pre-foaming uh, the car and then actually rinsing it off, doing an agitation wash, then rinsing it off, and then we're going to be looking at the water beating behavior. A couple things to note here, I am going to be using the Avalon King Ceramic Coating Shampoo. It's going to be in my foam cannon as well as in my agitation wash, and you guys are going to see that in just a second. The other thing that's important to keep in mind here is I, when cleaning the wheels, was not using any solution. I was simply using the water as well as a detailing brush. This is very important because when you are dealing with a ceramic coating of sorts like this one, many times, if they work really well, you can actually clean a lot of these areas without chemicals to break down the coating with the chemical. You can use it with just that water detailing brush kind of approach, and that's what I do with the wheels here, and it worked really, really well. Now, one thing that I noticed here as I was washing down the car is when you have a truck like this that's coated in surface dirt, mud, all that sort of stuff, you are not going to be able to properly see the water beating behavior of the coating until the car is totally washed, stripped down, and all that sort of stuff. 
So it's necessary for us to take the Avalon King Prep Ceramic Coating Shampoo, not their prep shampoo before they apply the ceramic coating, but just their car shampoo to uh, prepare the ceramic coating to be maintained. So it's just, it's not going to break down the coating is what I'm saying. It's very important to take this shampoo in the foam can and in the agitation wash and make sure that we're rinsing all of the truck down before we measure the water being behaviors. Now it's great because you can still see some water being instantly here on the upper part of the truck as well as on the windows as as we are just foaming it down before we even move to the agitation wash. You can see that on the windows right here in this scene. That tells me that at least thus far, I'm confident in the durability up to two months on this really, really, really dirty, really hammered truck of the ceramic coating because I haven't even done the agitation wash. I haven't even taken off the brunt of the grease, grime, and dirt on the truck, and yet the coating is still standing up and I'm already seeing the water beating behaviors come about before I've actually removed the brunt of the dirt, grease, and grime. So that's a very, very good sign. Now I am using a microfiber madness wash mitt. I do keep certain wash mitts uh, for ceramic coating preparations, ceramic coating maintenance, all that sort of stuff. You guys can even see in this scene on the hood, the water is beating up really nicely as I'm pulling off that agitation wash soap. So I am going to go around the rest of the truck, go ahead and finish up my agitation wash and I want to make a few notes as you guys get to see the water beating behavior firsthand for yourself. Number one, on the lower, lower, lower most rocker panels of the truck, there is a little bit less beating, less kind of that water beating behavior like you see in this scene on the windows, on the upper parts of the truck. That is not quite as strong on the lower, 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 again, parts of those rocker panels of the truck. However, is the water beating still there? Absolutely. But in some ways, it sheets a little bit more than it beads on those lower rocker panels. So we can look at the hood here, and you're going to see a lot of beading here as well. In the middle, there's a bit of sheeting as well. The sheeting a lot of times happens on flatter panels like the hood, not because it has anything to do with the ceramic coating. It has to do with the fact that gravity is actually pushing down in a way on the hood that it doesn't push down on the side, maybe like a door that's sitting vertically. So that's also something you have to keep in mind here. But you guys can see the beating that's happening on the windshield. You can see the beating that's happening on the hood. What does this tell me? The coating is still intact here. The coating is still present here after a snowstorm, after an ice storm, after traveling a bit, and after it warming up and the temperature totally changing here in Middle Tennessee, this coating is still very much alive on these parts of the truck that we are uh, looking at right now. Now, once again, on those lower rocker panels, you do see a little bit of degradation, but you would expect that with a truck like this that's going mudding, that's being taken on a farm, and that's doing all that it's doing. Those lower rocker panels are going to be the first thing that you start to see um, a little bit of degradation. However, I can still comment on that in saying, for example, when you're looking at this fender well here, even those lower parts of the car still have significant beating and significant sheeting going on. So this tells me, once again, that even on those heavy, heavy hitting areas of the truck, we are still looking good. So you guys get to see a little bit more here of what all of this looks like, what the beating looks like in different areas, and uh, on different parts of the truck. Now the last thing to look at here is just the windows on the other side and the upper parts of the door here as well and you guys can see that water is falling off just like butter off of the car here. So it looks really, really fantastic. Now, the only other thing I really want to show you guys here is this a little over two weeks, it's about three week update of this Tesla that was not paint corrected, but we did apply the Avalon King ceramic coating to the wheels, the windows, the uh, uh, paint as well. And you guys are going to get to see all the water beating here. I actually took all of these shots that you are seeing here before the Tesla was washed here. So this Tesla, still has surface dirt on it. It still has that grease grime from the exterior as much as it's been driven, though it is garage kept. But the beating is unbelievably strong. The three main areas here are the paint, the black trim, and the wheels. Now, you guys are going to have to get some different uh, shots here so you guys can make sure you see all of the beating happening, and I'm going to make sure I give those to you. But guys, this Tesla, once again, has not been washed, and I just want to see the three-week water beating behavior of the coating on a car that still has grime on it, still has surface dirt on it, has not been washed, but we can see that actually, even by just pressure washing this vehicle, we're removing like 99 percent of the dirt because the coating is doing its job. 
So this is a really interesting test subject to look at as well because once again, it was not paint corrected. So the truck as well as the Tesla here are working as really, really, really good experimental cars to test the longevity and the durability of the Avalon King ceramic coating. And you can see that in both scenarios, the Tesla that we're looking at now as well as the truck, I can say that for the truck that gets beat to death, it is still very, very much intact. And for the Tesla, and that's about uh, two months, two and a half months later. And then the Tesla, three weeks later, as we would expect, this is no surprise. The the Avalon King ceramic coating looks absolutely fantastic on here. However, I will say I am a bit surprised that the beating looks as good as it does, even though the Tesla has not been washed at all, and we're still dealing with a lot of surface dirt here. So you guys can soak this up check out the beating in all of these different areas. It looks absolutely fantastic, and we will continue to test these subjects. All right, guys, if you want to get your hands on the Avalon King Armor Shield Ceramic Coating, go below in the YouTube description box because I will link up this product as well as the other products I use to actually prepare the paint to actually be coated in the coating before we apply it. All of those products, including the Avalon King Armor Shield, will be listed in the YouTube description box below for your convenience. Now, in addition to that, I know some of you guys are watching the channel and you're thinking, Luke, I want to start my detailing business, but I'm just not 100% sure what to buy before I need to start. And lucky for you, I actually have the answer to that question. Below in the same place in the YouTube description box, there's a free guide to starting your auto detailing business for under $500, which basically lays out the top list of tools and products that I think you should get before starting your detailing business that are absolutely essential. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content on this channel, go over to Instagram and follow me at Wilson Auto Detailing because I'm posting pretty much daily on that page and you can continue to follow the detailing content there. Like I said, guys, thank you for watching. And from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.